All right, this one's for all you G Fuel boofing, snorting, glass mouse pad, 10 gram mice enjoying pro gamers out there hard stuck in bronze. Yes, it's true, 1080p has been the preferred resolution for professional gamers for a long time, but are they just clowns or is there a good reason to stick to 1080p for competitive gaming in 2023. Now, this video idea came to me like a fever dream when I saw a popular streamer giving his thoughts on the idea, and he seemed to think that 1440p was worth it. But is he right? Well, to find out, first we need to understand the real difference between 1080p and 1440p. So, 1080p or 1920 by 1080 has a total pixel count of 2,073,000. 600, whereas 1440p or 2560 by 1440 has a total pixel count of 3,686,400 pixels. That's an enormous nearly 78% increase in resolution, which let me tell you, looks much, much more clear in person. This also means that targets at a distance and heck, even up close will be far more detailed, theoretically allowing you to potentially track and recognize targets with greater accuracy. And on a personal note, I get less eye fatigue when the image is clear as well. Now, many people will say that 1440p is a waste for competitive gaming because it's much harder to run, the displays tend to have lower refresh rates, and I've heard some say that the PPI of 1080p or pixels per inch on something like a 24 inch monitor is good enough and there isn't much benefit to moving to a higher resolution. That last point is just false and I vehemently disagree with the PPI argument as a whole as sure at some point a screen is so small that you can't tell the difference but that's not even the case at like five inches on a phone let alone on 24 inch monitors. The visual difference between 1440p and 1080p at 24 and 27 inches is massive. And no matter what size the screen is, 1440p will always have roughly 78% higher detail making PPI a metric that you should mostly just ignore. And yes, 1440p is harder to run, but most graphics cards today can run any game at 1440p low settings at a very acceptable frame rate. And the harder games to run tend to have options like DLSS or FSR to help if you can't quite get the frame rate you want. Plus, with now 360 hertz 1440p monitors becoming available with very diminishing returns in response and input lag already happening at around 240 hertz, especially considering LCD struggles to take advantage of 360 hertz and beyond in terms of motion clarity, I don't see any reason to choose a 1080p monitor over 1440p or heck even 4K in 2023 unless the monitor and equipment to run it is just too expensive, which is a legitimate argument. For example, a 1080p 360 hertz monitor might cost you $400 and a $250 RX 7600 might be enough depending on the games you play for a total cost of $650. However, a 360Hz 1440p monitor may cost $900 and require a $500 7800 XT or maybe even more to run it for a total cost of $1400, making it far harder for many to justify purchasing. But realistically, guys, I think 240Hz is definitely the sweet spot and you may be able to get away with a cheaper graphics card as well as a much less expensive $450 monitor targeting that resolution and refresh rate, which would probably put you at a total cost of around you know, $900, which while more expensive is far more reasonable. In fact, some budget 1440p 240Hz displays could bring that down even further. So whether or not you can justify the extra expense is up to you, but the massive increase in clarity is certainly worth it in my opinion, and spending the same for higher refresh 1080p monitors to get either very, very diminishing returns or maybe even no returns at all in terms of motion clarity and barely any in system latency is just big clown energy 
definitely not worth it. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.